Well, this is a subject that I didn't know too much about. I stumbled across it. Um, I'm Dr. J.W. Morrison, theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia, a taxpayer, an Australian taxpayer. Um, got no problem with that. I've got no choice with that, to be honest. But I never, I, I, I've been, I, I do have a, a Syrian Lebanese background. I also have an Aboriginal, talk about a bitza. Um, I'm a bit of a bitza. Um, but I never knew anything about this. We worry about what's happening to people and you don't want people to be harmed or maimed or anything like that. You want people to be safe and well. But you also want to know what you're supporting as a taxpayer and where your money's going. And then this come along. Whoops. Sorry, viewers. The coalition is morally bankrupt when it comes to Palestine. And Let me just say that the coalition isn't bankrupt. This is Maureen Farquhar, a green senator, a Muslim, Islamic, as far as I'm concerned, fanatic. I don't think she represents Australia. I think she represents Palestine, and she's got into the Australian Senate. Look at this. She, she's driven these people mad. She's got no self-awareness of Australian culture and how it works. She's a bully. She's a thug. Um, I hope she sees this. Uh, and she's wa she wants taxpayers' money to be sent to, to Palestine. Um, no, I don't think so. I think we, we've got roads and, and other things to fix. We've got an NDIS bill that's far beyond what we're capable um, of, of sustaining. And this woman's demanding... You wait till you watch this, viewers. It's disgraceful. Labour has shown itself to be heartless, gutless cowards. You are watching the massacre of... Th no, it's, it is not right. It is not true. As, uh, at one stage, just recently, Penny Wong got her, one of her sidekicks to bring in the Israeli ambassador and said that we will not be their allies if they retaliate after a Hezbollah attack. Well, a Hezbollah has attacked. They've blown up a soccer field, killed 12 children. Uh, and you've got these fanatics, Pakistani, I think she is by nature, demanding that we're, it's partly our... No, we don't have to fund Palestine. They're not an ally of ours. Israel is. Palestine's done nothing for us and will never do anything for us. Thousands of Palestinians by Israel, and you are not condemning Israel. No, we're not condemning Israel because Hamas, these terrorists, viewers, provoke trouble, they bring war on themselves, and then cry the victim. No, no, Israel's got every right to um, defend itself. Now, war, right, one of the incidents, incidentals of war is civilians get killed if you don't believe me ask the japanese after the atomic bomb that atomic bomb wasn't dropped on military um, facilities it was dropped on hiroshima and on nagasaki and whatever was in its way was going to be annihilated it was the only way that they could stop the war the japanese were determined well that broke them didn't it Israel's done everything it can to try and navigate their assault on Hamas and these other terrorist micro-incremental organizations that work under Hezbollah um, in the most strategic civilian duty of care way that they can, but civilians are going to get killed. They target military um facilities. Now these military facilities of Hamas, they're in schools, libraries, um, synagogues, um, hospitals. They'll fire these rockets from anywhere thinking that Israel is not going to re retaliate, but Israel has retaliated and they'll continue re to retaliate. Um, the Pal uh, Hamas, the government of Palestine, who are the corrupt people that are running it, they use their people as human shields. They don't let them use the tunnels because to, the tunnels are simply for the Hamas terrorists. They believe that their people are the responsibility of the UN, believe it or not. 
um, and they take no responsibility whatsoever for the lives that they take, including they will shoot their own people. They've stolen the humanitarian aid in the hundreds of millions of dollars worth and sold it on the black market. And you've got these people in Australia demanding like this, I think she should be kicked out. You refuse to call for an immediate ceasefire. Well, we are not going to sit here and watch you pat yourselves on the back for doing nothing. Look at this lady in the background. She's troubled. She's extremely troubled. Weasel words are not going to stop war crimes. Today, we bring the people's protest into parliament. Free, free Palestine. Uh, thank you, Senator Fariki. That is not Australian. <laughs> Minister Farrell, that was a statement, so... Look at these Order. Order. Look, Senator Hanson. They don't know Order. what they're doing. They don't know what they're following. Order. They've got no Senator clue. Sheldon. Uh, did you want to respond, no. Minister? D sorry. <laughs> um. uh, order. Order. They're rebels. They're not representing Australia. They don't know a thing about what's going on in Palestine or Israel. It's absolutely ludicrous. Uh, order. <laughs> Minister Farrell, uh, did you wish to respond? Yeah, President, I completely reject the uh, implications in the question by uh, Senator uh, uh, Faruqi. Now, I've always said these um, politicians shouldn't uh, expose themselves like this, but watch this. Faruqi, and to take us there, here was later Senate Leader Penny Wong on the Greens refusing to support a motion to recognise a Palestinian state as part of a just and enduring peace. Last just let me say, and I support Penny Wong, she, this woman, Farquhar, or whatever her name is, has driven Penny Wong round the bend. Um, whether you look, what you're looking at, viewers, is what's known as the Gaza Strip. Okay, there it is. Now, if that was the east coast of Australia, okay, that is prime, absolute prime land. Absolute prime land, right? And they were given that land to be able to build a state out of it. Okay, they had every capability, every opportunity to build a state out of it. You know what they did with the money that they were given? Billions sent from the Western world. They dug tunnels. While UNRWA was supplying food to people that were being described as refugees, but they weren't. They were born in Gaza and all these places, Al Baruch, and all right through here, they never had to, all this stuff, they weren't refugees at all. They were just incapable under the leadership that they had of building a civilised state. They couldn't do it. Now, if you look at Israel, which is over here, right, you can just vaguely see the outline of Israel. They're not happy with this because these people are groomed from childhood to want to annihilate Jerusalem, the Jews, the Jews, right? All of the Jews, no different to the spirit that the Nazis had, okay? Now, the river, there's the river, the Jordan River, all that, whatever you want to call it. They want all the land from the river to the sea, right? A lot of people don't realise this. They don't know what they're protesting about. Palest uh, the Palestinians were given this prime land. Israel's out in the middle of nowhere. It's got a bit of a... I think that's the Red Sea. The Dead Sea, right? They've got the Dead Sea. What would you prefer, the Dead Sea or the ocean? Well, everybody's different. But it's not a conflict about sea. It's not a conflict about land or sea or from the river to the sea. It's a conflict about the annihilation of the Jews, of the Israeli people. You could give the Palestinians all this land, but what do you think they're going to do with it? They're going to destroy it, just like they've destroyed their own land. Then let's go in and just have a look. Look, they've had a beautiful land. 
Now, let me just say the Hamas people were using these places like hospitals and all these kind of things as launch bases for their um, terrorist attacks on Israel. So well, Israel's got a bomb where those bombs are coming from and that's how Hamas makes themselves look like victims. But they're not. They're instigators. They're antagonists. So I just wanted to show you, they've been given a parcel of prime, top-of-the-notch parcel of land, like the north shore of New South Wales, right? The North Sydney North Shore and beyond, right? A massive, beautiful parcel of land, but they're not happy with that. Oh, no. They have to have Israel. It's a load of nonsense. They want to wipe Israel out. Now, UNRWA is like a foster parent that supplies these people with the duty of care. It's turned educational and it grooms the Palestinians in believing that they've got to wipe out the Jewish people. That's why when the um, set October 7th thing, the terrorists were ringing up their parents and telling them I've killed five, six, seven, eight you know, Israelis, and the parents will be going, I wish I was there with you, and that they've been groomed, they've been psychologically ai programmed to destroy Jewish people, okay? Now, I wanted to show you this because you've got to understand, the money that they get was used for tunnels, and Hamas relied on UNRWA, to supply goods to their people, which they never ever cared about. They got UNRWA to do it. But Hamas had the money to run a good and profitable land. They just chose not to. It was a deliberate choice not to. You've got to understand this. So from the river to the sea is what these people think they want to manage, but they can't manage the prime, top-of-the-line land that they were given. It's like saying, okay, um, just say the North Shore. This is only a, a, a picture. Uh, just say the North Shore from Wollongong to Pitwater of the Australian coast, right? They've said, we don't want that. We want Bathurst. We don't want that. We don't, we don't want that land. We want Bathurst. Let me show you what I mean. Narrabeen, Sydney. Watch this, viewers. Just watch this. You've got to get the gist of this, how, how deluded this is. So this is the east coast of Australia. Right? There's the, there's the prime top of the line land, I mean, it's worth millions, multi-millions of dollars for you to have that land, to be even near that land, right? That is one of, that is the mecca of the east coast of Australia, right? No different to the Gaza Strip, okay? And they're saying, in a roundabout way, that they don't want to live there, they want to live here. Are you getting the picture? Oh no, we don't want. We just don't want the 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 sea. We want to live out here as well. Whatever. There's no. I don't think there's a river out there. But you know what I mean. This is what they want to do. They're not happy with that. The most prime land that you could get, they were given. Oh no, they're not happy with that. No. They have to have from the river to the sea. It's a load of nonsense. And it's a lot, I think there's a lot more land there than what there is. Um, let's just do something. Stick with me. Let's just, I think you can take measurements um, with this. Is that the ruler? Okay, so we wanna measure from here to here which is, say, 
40,000, we'll say 40,000, right, metres. We'll go back to Narrabeen. And we'll measure out on the east coast of Australia what 40,000 metres is, okay? Let's do it. Let's see what they've got and what they expect. So we'll go to the tip of Palm Beach and we'll go 40, 40, hang on, no, we've got to go this way, 40,000. Okay, you may as well, you may as well say it's that. That's the span of the Gaza Strip on the ocean. Okay, it's from the tip of, um, let me just make sure this is, oh, I see what it's doing. We'll come back a bit, hang on, we'll come back a bit. Just say from the tip of Palm Beach to Randwick, okay, that's basically it. Um, okay, that's that's the land that they've been given by that. They've been given the best piece of land, this is what I'm trying to say to you, that you could have, okay? But no, they have to have from the river, from the river, from Katoomba and the Blue Mountains and all that, or whatever, right, to the sea. It's nonsense, viewers. They're living, they've been given the... Okay, now if Israel was on the ocean, you, you'd be going, well, hang on, Israel's been given the best part of the land. So I can understand to a point why Palestine wants to live over there. They've been in the desert, as it were, and they haven't been able to cope and they've wrecked it, right? And they want to live near the ocean. I, I, to a point, I could understand that, right? I could understand that to a point. But they've already got the best part of the land. They're not out in the desert. So from the river to the sea, you protesters and fools that don't understand what you're talking about, it's not about the land. It's about the annihilation of the Jews. The Palestinians couldn't use this land. They wouldn't know what to do with it. They can't use the prime land that they've got now. They never were able to. Okay? This is what, I, I, I'm running out of time trying to just explain this simple fact. That is prime, top of the line real estate. You cannot get better. But no, we want the desert and hill country as well. That's rubbish. That's just nonsense. They want by education and culture to annihilate the Jews. Penny Wong. Last week they couldn't bring themselves to support this motion. The need for the Senate to recognise the state of Palestine as part of a peace process in support of a two-state solution and a just and enduring peace. I mean, what does it say Order. about how much you are focused on political differentiation <laughs> that you could not support that? You could not support that because all you there want to do, is. Senator Faruqi uh, and your colleagues, is to politically differentiate on this conflict, which is horrific. Senator Faruqi, welcome to the program. Hi, David. Lovely to be here. It's my first. I don't think this woman should have had this interview because she's thrown herself under the bus. Stein. Lovely to have you here. Uh, so, look, why? just explain to us why you couldn't support that motion Penny Wong's talking about there. So we put up a very simple motion to recognise the statehood of Palestine. Then Labour started to amend that motion. And from where we sat, they were putting in caveats, they were delaying, they were kicking the can of Palestinian... Because Palestine is not our ally. Israel is. ...recognition down the road. That is not what the community is asking for. 150 other countries have done this, recognised simply that Palestine has statehood and Labour should do the same. And I am really sick and tired. I don't think Labour's rejected that stance. I just showed you that Palestine was given the land and they couldn't make it into a state because they were incapable of it. David, of being gaslighted in that parliament by Labour Party, in kind of questioning the motivations of the Greens. We have been staunch supporters of injustice everywhere, and we have been strong supporters of justice for Palestine, not just over the last nine months, but over many years. That's the motivation. We are listening to our communities. We are looking at... What communities? 
The Australians would be saying, stay the hell out of Palestine, you fool. We don't want our taxpayers' money going there. What is happening when 40,000 Palestinians have now begin, been slaughtered? There is a genocide. But no, it's not a genocide and they're not being slaughtered. It's on Hamas. Hamas are using their people as human shields. And Israel has to get on with the job. ...going on there. That's why we're putting pressure on the Labour government to act in a way that actually makes a difference. OK, well, just to be clear on genocide, I just need to point out Israel denies that. There's been no finding from the International Court of Justice of genocide. But why not support recognition um, as part of a just and enduring peace? Surely that's something you would support. Well, we have a situation here where Israel, who, and I will say that, who has slaughtered 40,000 Palestinians... No, that is not true. Israel didn't fire their bombs to slaughter the civilians. They fired their bombs to take out Hamas strongholds. Now, Hamas put their people, the, the Palestinians, in these positions as human shields. You've got to... I'm telling you, this is more imposterous than you can imagine. So ...over the last nine months is recognised as a state. And then we have the situation where Palestinians are being denied that very same right. Let's bring that to an equal footing. Then let's talk about peace. Let's do something to stop this slaughter and talk about... Like, I, I just think... Is, 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 I was OK, so now, look, word salad's a word that's got to be used relative to um, personality disorders and mental disorders. But this woman keeps going into word salads because she cannot fully explain what she's trying to say because she's not fighting for Australia. She's not a senator of Australia. She's like a Palestinian representative pushing around Australian um, politicians. But I, I have to say, Penny Wong, man, this woman's driven Penny Wong round the bend. The guest in that Labor wants to talk about peace well, while doing absolutely nothing to stop um, Israel. And that's another exaggeration. Labor's doing the best they can with what they've got as a spectator. From their slaughter of Palestinians. Is the continued presence of Hamas, though, the problem here? I mean, it is still holding civilian Israeli hostages. I mean, Hamas Surely has... that has to end first. Hamas has nothing to do with recognising Palestinian statehood. Oh, yes, it does. See, this is how... Oh, my God. This is how fanatical these people are, viewers. Hamas runs Palestine. They've got everything to do with it. Everything. Recognising Palestinian statehood is about Palestinians being able to self-determine. And they will self-determine... What does that mean? What does self-determine mean? Just explain how that well, That work. is a very basic human right mm -hmm. for every person. But in this complicated context between... Termination look like? Well, firstly, the genocide has to stop, right? Uh, Palestinians have to be given more rights to be able to access basic necessities like food and water. No. Again, you've got to understand the narrative. UNRWA, which is what this is about, has been given millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of humanitarian supply, and they're cutting it off. They're using it for themselves. They're selling it in the back black markets, and they're making millions out of it and starving their people, the Palestinians. This woman is out of control. To be able to move around freely. But Palestine in terms of forming two states, how does self-determination work? But that's the process that the UN has actually um, highlighted, and that's what needs to happen. So how does the it work? slaughter needs to finish, and Israelis and Palestinians need to look at what their region looks like. And to the hostages also. Well, that's exactly what they need to do, viewers, because Palestine's ruined anything they had, and they tried to ruin... Wherever they go, they, they ruin things, right? This is the fanatics because of their indoctrination to wipe out the Jews or anything that, you know, they can't have. Um, and if you look at Israel, which is a civilised um, nation, state, whatever you want to call it, Palestine's ruined theirs. Israel hasn't ruined it. Palestine has. Also they should be released. The hostages should be released. I think we've said, them, said that over and over. The hostages on the other side, the thousands upon mm. thousands of Palestinians that have been held by Israel need also... The thousands, which is exaggerated, the Palestinians held by Israel are criminals. Are criminals. You can tell by her face that she, she, she's not convincing. To be released. And does Hamas need to be dismantled? 
But listen, the, the situation with Hamas is that it, it has nothing, I, I can't keep repeating it again and again, it has nothing to do with Palestinian state. And that's where this woman's a fanatic. Hamas has everything to do with, with what's happening to Israel and consequently to Palestine. Everything. She'll sit there and say they have nothing. I've got to finish this video, viewers. Come back for the second part. Uh, this is Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Bye for now.